Next up, it'll be the 4-2 seed, Kyle Dake out of Cornell. Remember, he was the national champion at 141 last year, moved up. And Frank Molinero for Penn State, the number two seed, coming in with a record of 32 and two, but did lose earlier to Dake on December 30th. He was a 1-0 match. This is a kid that's just a sophomore, Tim, and he opened up so many eyes last year as a freshman coming in and getting the national title at 141 pounds. And they called him Kid Dynamite, and here he is up at 149, but Frank Molinero has had a run. He has uh, won the Big Ten Championship, and he's a higher seed because Dake lost in the IWs to Kevin LaValle. One thing about Dake in this tournament, no one has scored on him yet. Contrasting styles, really. Frank Molinero. Quick single for Dick. Nice circling behind. Nothing, nothing. Two point take down for Kyle Dick. The middle of the this first period, three minutes long. That was a statement by Kyle Dick. He's got such great body two awareness. Sets, he's a guys, two seller. Sets. He's a Greco. He can do everything. He's behind the line. Ready, set, head down the midline. Set. I don't think it's just a sensational athlete. Played baseball, ran track in high school. Nearly out of tilt. This leg in ride now. Tremendous pressure on Molinero's bat and hips. Dick, just a sophomore out of Ithaca, New York, decided to stay home and go to Cornell. Two time New York State High School champion. Dick now has a ball on Molinero's left arm. Might see another tilt. At Take a look back there. Boy, Dake has got him locked up from the waist down, too. There you go. Stalemate. Green down. Stalemate is called with under 90 seconds to go here in the first period. And there is Frank Sr. watching his son compete. Want to get New Jersey, their hometown. Set. Set. That's one Bring thing you'll see from Frank Molinero the entire night. He's like the energizer button. He just, he just keeps on going, but right now, he's having a hard time getting that hip separation. Ready, set, Because, uh, you know, some guys just wrestle best when the lights are on and the stage is in place. Set. And I believe Kyle Bates is going to Remember, a freshman, he wins the national title at 141. He decides to move up to what's probably more his normal wrestling weight, 149. And here he is going for his second national championship. And remember, Finger. as a freshman, he's still running, so it's inevitably he's probably going to be moving up. If you've watched Kyle Day, it's like a switch went on the finals. And he one minute, him one minute. Another level. He has not wrestled this aggressive the entire tournament, even though Jeff Lee haven't scored on him. It's been a different level of energy. In this match, absolutely. Dake's pressure on top right now, immense on Molinero. He's flattened him out. He's got a leg locked in with his leg. Right there working the upper body. Yeah. One. Wow. Illit pressure against the knee. You Illit can't overhook it. I know. It's when it's locked out. That's so one point going. awarded to Molinero yeah. for what it was that pressure against the knee trying to, and he says he wasn't trying to, but hey. making the knee bend in a way that it's not supposed to. Well, that certainly, that point certainly changes Set. the strategy of the match. Now a, an escape. Well, Hit not the score minus the riding time. Well, it's odd to see two minutes plus of riding time. Oh, here we go. But it is Kyle Dake firmly in control. But like Jeff said, if Frank Molinero can get out here, it's it's like there is no riding time involved. Ready? Even though Set. there Top is, man. he's made it up with that penalty point. But he needs to get away to make that happen. 
Oh, that. Getting away from Kyle Dake has proved very difficult throughout this match. Nice return, pop and drop. Bring down. And you know, for a lot of guys that face Kyle Dake, it's not a mystery of what he's trying to do, it's a mystery of how to try to stop what he's trying to do. Here's Kyle Dake's return to the mat. There you see him pop his hips in, Molinero in the air, Ready. easy to Set. bring down. Man. And on that lift, Kyle Dake looks for and catches the inside wrist. Set. See, Molinero on the, on the go is not getting his arms out. And the first period comes to an end in the 149-pound weight class. These are the Division I Wrestling Championship from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Alongside Tim Johnson, Jeff Latnick, and Quint Kesnick, I'm Todd Harris. Glad to have you with us here in the city of brotherly love. Frank Molinero just went against his coach's wishes. They said, choose up, neutral, do not go underneath. Frank Molinero is so upset for being written, he's saying, I'm going underneath. Letters in the, on the left hand, and Cody Sanderson, his brother and associate head coach. Troy Letters, of course, who is a national champion for Lehigh. And again, Dake with a powerful ride, yeah. flattening Molinero right out. Both heels in. Leg out! Not on the toe. And Dick's length adds all that leverage. Look at that. Both knees of Molinero airborne. That's a 150-pound backpack that Frank Molinero is trying to find a way to shed. And at this point, he is unable to do it. His Stalemate. time Breeze down. is now 322 in favor of Kyle Dake. So add an extra point. So in effect, the score 3-1 Kyle Dake here in the second period. Ready, set, hot man. Right wrist tied. Oh, go down, Green. Not free his wrist from Kyle Day. Molinero having a very, very tough time coming out clean from underneath. Ready, set, top. His father, Frank Sr., looking on as his son trails 2 1 set. plus a point for writing time, so it's 3 1. As we come up on a minute to go here in the second period with one period Not still on the to toe. go. Oh, three, nice. Three. And, and, and Molinero is actually oh, helping this he did, right? him by catching his, his, he actually when he grabs the ankle, he's actually hurting himself. Not on the he's toe. pulling that left uh, arm into Dake's reach and Dake takes it and tilts him with it. That's a big lead now. Those were valuable back points in this match. Three more points will be added to Kyle Dake's already. When the hips recover, score. when the hips recover, I'll 30 go seconds. I think Molinero, I think everyone is surprised with the how physical Kyle Dake is tonight. He came out right at the start, got that takedown, and has been relentless on top. And Molinero's been having to carry Dake's weight the entire night. Writing time close to four and a half minutes with just five seconds to go here in the second period. This is the 149 pound weight class, and this is for the national championship. Right here on that half and tilt by Dave. Molinero, you see him grabbing the ankle and actually holding himself there. It, it seems like you want to get out, but you're actually hurting yourself, and the tilt by Dave gives him three points. Okay. Great balance. And a reversal, excuse me. That's a reversal. He able to turn into Molinero, get all the way around, slaps the leg back in, and again, Molinero flat on his belly. Dave is very smart here. He's got this lead. There's been no warnings. He's really not trying to turn Molinero as much as he's just flattening him out. He's punishing him. But to turn, you've got to turn the hips. He's staying pretty parallel. Well, with both heels in, he's definitely parallel right here. No action on the edge. Let's go to the middle, guys. The referee recognizes it, breaks it quickly. 
You think uh, Kyle Dake is uh, saying, one, okay, 16. you still think Eddie. I'm fourth seed? Bottom of the set, top man. I wonder what Molinero thinks about his choice of going down. Set. Molinero unable to get the one point for the escape. At this point, it's all Kyle Dake. 7 1 plus a point for riding time as we approach one minute to go in the match. Kyle Dick, the one minute. national one champion at 141, he moves up to go the, to the 149 middle, guys. class, down. so he's not defending 141. He's now going for the 149 championship. And he's only a sophomore, and it looks like he's going to be a two-time NCAA champion. Ready, set, top. Set. Turn coming for Kyle Dake. He transitions so smoothly, able to get off his knees, follow Molinero up, and just return him. Molinero, such a fighter, he's not having a good night because Dake is having the match of his life. Get all the right fingers, now. all the Molinero, fingers. Molinero, though, a three time All American, only a junior. Tremendous year, tremendous career so far. But 30. Not his night against Kyle Dake. <laughs> here at the Wells Fargo Center loaded with a lot of folks with red t-shirts and big C's on it so the big red will be happy tonight in Ithaca as Kyle Dake gets 15 50. seconds away from the national title. And Cornell's going to finish second in, for the second year in a row. Runner up. Cornell with this win. Dake is dominant. <laughs> Kyle Dake, a two-time national champion. Kyle Date gets the victory. Last year he was a champion at 141. He is now a champion at 149. And he is standing by with our Quint Kesvick. Kyle Dake started out fast. And he plants Molinero, not one, but about four times. Not and on the then toe. tilts for a three-point near four. It was takedowns, it was tilts, and it's a championship. Now Kyle Dake's with Quint Kesvick. Kyle, how do you best describe, describe six minutes and 17 seconds of riding time? That's a lot of riding time. That's, that's a tough. Went out, got that early takedown, like, the, like was our game plan, and uh, executed it, and rode the crap out of him. That was our job. How do you best ha characterize your ability to wrestle your best at the big, the big matches? Obviously, last year, the championship, and this year. Uh, people have said it. I'm addicted to the limelight. So it is. I love being on the big stage. Performing in front of 12,000 fans, or 1,200 fans, sorry, and uh, just do what I can to win. You wrestled great and you had fun. Congratulations. Yes, Kyle Dake, your national champion at 149 pounds, representing the Big Red of Cornell.